Hello. In today's video, we are going to try Azure Map, which is a new feature released by Microsoft recently. If you want to visualize the data by geography or location, this feature is very useful. Let's go to PBI and try this new feature. Here is the PBI file and I have the Azure Map here. So I downloaded the data from internet. So if I go to the data tab here, I have the population data for the US cities, so which I got downloaded from the internet. So two things that's very important here is longitude and the latitude. So if you want to visualize the data in this map, these two things are very important. So if you do not have this data and you have only the city or some address, you can still find it in the internet. But I'm gonna show you how to easily get the information using Excel as well. Okay, so with this data, I have plotted this uh, map here. Let me delete this or maybe I, I can show it right away here. So I'm not gonna delete it, but I'm gonna show you how to plot this. So before I show this, uh, there is one important thing here to enable uh, this Azure map. It's still a preview feature. So you need to go to the file here under the option sign settings, options. So just give it a second. Yeah. And you have the preview feature under the global. So click on this. You can see Azure map visual. So you need to check this box. So I already checked this box. So I'm not going to click OK. So, so once you have this, you can find this Azure map in your visualization here. So you can see here Azure map. So once you have this enabled, so what you have to do is uh, click on this visualization so that you have the Azure map here. And then what I have done here is I have the latitude. So I dragged and dropped it and in this in this value fields here. And similarly, the longitude. So you can drag and drop here. And legend, I have selected the state name. So I want to see the population for each state for the US cities. So I have the legend state name here. And I have the population. So if I hover over this map here, you can see the, the state name and also the population and also latitude and the longitude. Okay, so this is one of the important things. So if you don't have this information, the latitude and longitude, you can get it in the internet. So if you have uh, too much data and it's very difficult, you can use Excel also to get the latitude and longitude. And then there are like a couple of settings you can make here. So if I go to the format section here, you have a few settings you can change here. So general, uh, I don't have much things to change here. So what I'll do is I'll go to the data colors. You have the option to set the color of your choice based on your preferences. So in this case, I have used the default colors. So you can see all the uh, values appearing here. So each city has a different color, okay? And then if I collapse this data colors, you have uh, the map settings. So you can enable or disable auto zoom feature here. And also the word wrap, you can enable or disable this one. Style picker, you can again uh, remove this so that if you remove this, you will not have any options here to select the style. And navigation controls, you can disable all these features here. If you turn it off, this won't appear. And map style, so you can choose the map style. So you have four or five options here gray, scale, light, night, satellite, satellite, road labels, all those things here. For now, I'm not gonna change this anything here. Okay, that's all we have under map settings. And you have the options uh, to show this as a bubble. So you can see here, I have selected bar chart. So if I turn this off and then I can turn the bubbles on. So it'll take some time to engage. So, just give it a second. And if you notice here, so the style has changed, right? And you have the options to uh, 
change the scaling as well for your data points so you can choose linear or log so let me change this to linear and also you can do some changes to your transparency outline width of these bubbles all those things you can do it here and let me turn this bubbles off and then choose the cylindrical so i'm going to go back to the bar chart here and turn it on it'll take few seconds to reflect just give it a second so now i change this to bar chart so even under the bar chart you have some options so bar shape you can change it to cylinder or you can also change it to box so it'll take few seconds to reflect here yeah okay so i'll leave as it is and then you can also adjust the bar heights and also scale height on zoom width scale width on zoom all those uh, some adjustments or settings here and general layer settings so if i expand this you have the transparency you can increase or decrease here and also you have an option to limit your minimum and maximum data uh, these are the some of the things we have here and if i scroll down here reference layer so if you want to add any reference layer let's say if you have a cycle track or uh, maybe a root or something you can use a reference layer so you need to have, download the file and then add it here so i haven't experimented much on this feature and then you can also add traffic layer so you can turn this on or off and there are some options so I haven't explored all this but uh, it's pretty new i think uh, we need to explore these options as well and also you can change your background color here and also i see the function so i think uh, you can also use some formulas here if you want to have a customized background so this is one of the cool feature and then you have other settings like border shadow tool tips i'm not going to go through all these things so i'll let you explore all this stuff and uh, let's assume uh, we don't have the latitude and the longitude so how do we do that so either you, you need to have a mapping table based on your city or address and it might become cumbersome if you have too much data so uh, easiest way is uh, go to excel and then uh, feed in all the inputs and then get the information from the internet so i'll show you how to do that as well so let me go to the excel file so i have this excel file here so let's say uh, I, I want to find the latitude and the longitude of france so let's say let's say we have uh, many values several hundreds of values so that i can just plot this in excel and then what i'm going to do is uh, you have the option called geography under the data tab so click on the geography and <laughs> let's give it a second so you have this data selector here so i'm going to select this france so select this and then here uh, there is a small icon here i'm going to click on this so can i get the latitude and the longitude here i don't know why i'm not able to see this here okay let me remove it let me try it here france probably it's a country and maybe that's the reason i'm not able to pull it here but let's try for grenoble
so I can get the latitude and the longitude here. So I can use this one. So this is how we can do. I can add one more city. Maybe I will use Chennai. Latitude and the longitude. So if you have too much data, you can use Excel and then do it at one shot. So if you want to do it, let's say Mumbai. And then New Delhi. So I can go back here, geography. Okay, so and then click on this latitude and longitude. So then you can use this as a reference table and then use this information in your data so that you can plot in your map. So now let's go back to PBI and also we have some other options as well. So you can change your map view to road if you want to see satellite you have an option hybrid night all those things here and also you have an option to zoom in and zoom out and also you can rotate your map so let, let me zoom in okay so and if i hover over this bars so i should be able to see the numbers yeah but it's uh, pretty slow it's taking time to load so let me zoom in further decrease pitch Increase pitch. Yeah, you can tilt it up or down. So I think this map is really powerful. So uh, we need to explore this further. So it's pretty new. And uh, I haven't explored all the new features. So. Let me know in the comment section if you have any things to add to this map, okay? I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.